Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just had to come show you this. I just saw this out the window. Couldn't really get a good look at it. This is what destroys your garden. Too much rain. Too fast. Look at this. I guess fortunately the beans are on a mound. But I just wanted to kind of get an idea. Look at this river. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. Okay, something. Oh goodness, something has to be done here. Look, there's so much there's so much movement in the water it's it's got foam. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, the fruit is just rotting on the ground. Okay. Let me get one of these. Probably too late. Oh, it's just dirt. Okay. There's still hope. I love these cradles. That is the Vert Green Climbing Melon. It just gets about not even twice that big and then it ripens. I think I just saw another one somewhere. Yeah, right here. This I grew last year, so these are all volunteers. Oh, my. Oh, there's another one. Wow, just look at that. I mean, it's just a... I, it, it looks like a monsoon, a place where there's a monsoon. I'm just gonna step on. Ooh! Ugh, don't fall! Come on! I'm so glad I put the sweet potatoes on mounds. Oh goodness, this is just an absolute bog. It did not flood this bad last year. What is going on? Not enough mulch, obviously. The whole thing needs to be covered in hay. Oh. Let's see if we got any watermelons. I see a melon over there. Oh. There are some flowers on those beans, but look how yellow they are. And they're yellow bean, but... Yeah, something attacked that. Oh, I see a bean. I think I wouldn't have any plants at all if I hadn't put these mounds here. This okra looks pretty good. Watermelons have really spread out, but that's the only melon I see. I'll have to get some more cradles down here. But look! Look at this river! My golly!
Oh, there's a big melon it's sitting on the ground. Let's, let's, let's get a handful of hay. Oh, come on, Kay. Maybe that'll save it. Oh my goodness, look. Oh, look, look, look. More. And this one's getting ripe. Oh, and it's sitting on the ground. I put all these trellises here. Did they go up them? No. For some reason, the last half is doing better than the front half. You can see the difference. The shift in color is almost, is almost exactly in the middle. It goes from darker green to lighter green. These are the same beans. And down there you've got all the runners going up. And down here, just a few runners going up. And meanwhile, this whole big fabulous bean trellis is not even being utilized. I I'm telling you, this is heartbreaking. And seeing these vines practically underwater here. I don't know. I don't know. Tomatoes don't look too bad though. I've seen worse. This one's not so good. Well, hopefully it'll it'll calm down. I mean this may be the last good rain we have for a while. Oh, I think I see something under here. Yep, there's another one right there. All volunteers. There's another one. And more flowers. So if, you know, if the plants can stay undiseased, stay relatively healthy, then there's still a chance for a harvest. All right, this is the side garden, everybody. This is 1,200 square feet that we carved out of the lawn. Grow food, not lawns. Last year, I had huge okra in here. So many, more okra than I could put up and eat. Couldn't get out here and pick it fast enough. Did you see the overflow? We've never seen that before. We've never seen the overflow, have we? We've never seen the overflow. No, we've never, whoa, I almost fell, hi baby. We've never seen the overflow. I'm just gonna take another look at it. Oh my gosh, I have never seen this. So I didn't even know really if it worked because it's never, it's never done that. This is the overflow pipe if there's too much water in the, but you see how high up. It's to the roof, really, almost. And so, in order for that to overflow like that, and I just opened this and did this, but I'm not sure it's on the film, and I've got to do it again just in case. Look at this. Okay. Oh, look at it. See if you can see. That is the surface of the water with bubbles on it. You see right there. An inch and a half below that is the water. So that means this entire thing. Oh gosh, it's so hard to see. This entire thing is full of water. Wow, I have never seen that before. I am so excited. I am so excited. You have no idea how hard we worked on this thing. This is an old building, had a lot of leaks. I can't wait to uh, 
to let the man, the last guy who worked on it, to tell him that it's full of water. There's just no telling how much soil is being washed down and I mean what I need right here is a retaining wall with a uh, with a drain pipe you know underneath and build it up on this corner so there wasn't such a drop that's all poison ivy over there we did spray it let's see if the spray did any good at all we used horticultural vinegar look at my Rose of Sharon <gasps> I can't believe it the deer ate it all back and it's it's leafed back out. Oh, if that bloomed, I would I would be over the moon ecstatic. And look, look, you know how I always grew milkweed for the monarch. This is common milkweed, and you just saw that in the the video with Daryl. Now, if you look all down there, that's all poison ivy, and you see some of it has shriveled up. Some of it got killed back but it won't be deterred oh my goodness do you remember when we planted these pecan trees oh oh my goodness look at the weeds oh dear I mean I knew this would happen I just This stuff is actually not bad. So I told my helper to come in and weed whack the rest of it and just leave that because I thought we needed something to hold the soil back, you know. But somewhere in that little cage is a pecan tree. It needs to have a bigger cage. I can't even imagine what all that is up there. I see a lot of fern. And I looked up some of these native plants and I have them on my picture this app but of course they're not memorized I hope you can hear me over the rain it's either cicadas drowning me out or the rain I mean if oh my goodness look a little pretty flower Okay, there's actually some other pretty little flowers. Look. Okay. This is a relative of quinoa. And I looked it up and it said it spreads like crazy and you don't want to let it get hold. So I'm going to pull it out. that looks like a pecan leaf look how big it is okay I've got to release these people I've got to release these pecan trees and give them some more space I mean obviously these weeds are serving a purpose you know stopping the absolute washing off of all of this soil and all of this I didn't put any of this wood chip down this was from when I got it forest mulched okay let's check out the other one. Oh, this really needs a larger a larger cage I'm gonna give them larger cages as soon as I can let's just see the, the water flow here oh goodness oh look at that beautiful Egyptian spinach isn't that amazing? People are going to go, what is that plant? What do we do with it? I'll say, I don't know. You can eat the leaves. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The current is still on. We certainly don't want to get anywhere near that. Okay. Now what you didn't see me do the other day was I planted three rows of sunflowers. And I see... <laughs> I see the sunflowers coming up and beside that is the heirloom wild goose peas excited out of my mind for that 
Looks like the rain blew down the peas on the other side. Maybe they'll perk back up in the sun. Yeah, all these peas got beaten down. Got a lot of water flowing. Let's just study the water. So it's obviously coming straight across. That's the trench that Randy put in. And now we've got the trench coming down the side, which is exactly was my intention. And I, I did it like this for this reason. I did it higher at the end so that the rows would uh, hold the water in in dry spells. Get back from the fence, Kay. Come on, look at the size of that okra. My goodness. Okay, more water flowing down here. But in general, you know, those, those trenches and those berms and swales held the water for those rows there. And it's kind of holding the water for these beans, although a lot of it's running down through here, but not as much as before. Ooh, look at this flooded. You know what? I had him pull out all these weeds on this corner. That was probably a big mistake. Those weeds would have stopped that. Most of it, some of it. Got a lot of flowers on the tomatoes. Got my fingers crossed because the tomatoes upstairs don't look so great. <sighs> Sweet potatoes look good. Oh, it's hard to breathe. Okay, this is the one question mark. Look, got a lot of water coming down here. I thought it would just be coming down the middle. Do we have ripe elderberries in there? They still look green. Yeah, they still look green. Oh. Oh. I can't do anything about that right now. It's just too wet. Over here, now this one. Look at that. Oh, that one is ready. Oh my goodness, but do I take just one? And do what with? I'll come down tomorrow. Oh, these are, yeah, these are looking good. I'm going to come down tomorrow and collect those. Try to get organized. Look at all these. This is the new plant, and it's just all eaten up with this stuff, whatever it is. And look, the birds cleaned that one out. So I'm glad I put the netting on. I was almost going to move up here and get these weeds out, but you know what? It stops the, the big flow of water. Helps with infiltration. Although, I got so much runoff right now, I don't think it's infiltrating anything. All those are weeds, right? All these on the corner are weeds. And then, where there's no weeds, I've got a stream. Isn't that interesting? Tomatoes need support. They're falling over. Uh... Peanuts are draping over. This is where most of the water ran off before. And this, uh, this berm up here at the top looks like it, it kept these rows from getting completely washed out. Although there's a lot of water flowing. Okay. Okay, folks. Let's just take a quick peek at the corn, and I think you've seen as much as you can probably handle seeing in one day in one video so remember when I cut the corn to thin it it grew back I asked my neighbor this morning if I should do anything about it he said probably just leave it it's not gonna make corn but just leave it so anyway hopefully I'll have some corn look at these pretty little cabbages peeking out they're going the other direction. They're going for the afternoon sun. See, I had all these on a mound, so that was good. And then I've got the big stream flowing down through there, and it's going straight down, across, and out, and taking precious soil with it. Crepe myrtle is blooming. This one's really pretty. That one, the two middle stems look dead to me. And that one's going to be really pretty. That one's going to be red, bright pink, and light pink, or lavender. Oh, oh my poor flowers. Oh, look at all this. Look at all these weeds. Well, the mower's coming tomorrow. So, I'll take care of some of that.
Okay, here we are, back up at the house, right beside the sitting area. And there's our friend, Poison Ivy, all over the place. And there's some more. Welcome to my homestead, I'm Kay. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm on a nine plus acre property in Tennessee after starting my gardening life in a very small, tiny little garden in Los Angeles. Tennessee's my home state and I am back. So with that, I just, uh, this is part two of today's uh, garden review in the rain. And a lot of discoveries were made, so I hope you stay to the end and watch it all. And if you're interested in life on the homestead, trying to create a sustainable homestead and preserving food, making easy one dish meals in the kitchen. You'll want to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, scroll down and click all so you won't miss an upload. And of course I've got some very, very cute kitties so you can always keep your eye out for those. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Whoa! She, her, her senses were on like high alert and I just came to pick her up and she just went <laughs> That was funny. That was so funny. I've never seen you do that. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't see that. <laughs> anyway, I've already done the tour. So I, I'm back. I am going to hit the shower. I am wet. No doubt I have poison ivy on my pants and socks and everything. And course the cats do too <laughs> but one of the things you know about having a place is dealing with the especially if you're on a hill is dealing with the water flow for your gardens so this is what I check out today I just went out to check one little thing and it led to this and it led to that and it really led to uh, the whole video so thanks so much for watching my channel and I hope to see you soon I enjoy getting your comments I do try to read them all, and I am influenced by a lot of them, to tell you the truth. I, I do try things that you suggest, and I am just learning, so thank you so much. And why do I smell something funny? <laughs> thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. The only safe plants are those three rows of sweet potatoes over there, and maybe I don't know. Look at those tiny little mounds that those vegetables are sitting on and in between is just a complete river. This looks like monsoon. <laughs>